Hi guys, so welcome back. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I just woke up and it's 7.26, I'm on the way to school. I hope you guys are all having a great day. I literally just woke up and I'm exhausted. Happy Monday, today's a Monday if anyone is wondering. But I'm gonna show you guys a little school day in the life again because I decided to vlog today. I have a huge pimple on my face and I'm not vibing with it but Monday mornings are always the hardest but it's like lighter outside because it's actually 826 so yeah but I'm gonna drive to school so yeah guys so I just got home from school as you can probably tell I look pretty beat as many of you know I had the flu or you may or may not have known this but I had the flu last week so I have a lot of stuff I have to catch up on. It is currently 3.14. I have a nail appointment at 4 o'clock. I haven't got my nails done for about a month, I would say. So I'm going to get a fill today. So I'll show you guys what they end up looking like. But I have some homework assignments and things that I need to do later tonight. So I'm going to show you guys how I kind of stay productive during the school year when I'm in a funk. Just because, like, I don't know, I feel like... It can be so hard to maintain productivity when you're in a funk or you don't feel like doing anything. Like right now, I want to lay in bed and do absolutely nothing. But I'm going to stay productive. I'm going to continue editing another video I have going up. I'm currently editing my gift guide, which will be going up on Wednesday. But you'll see the gift guide probably before this video that's getting posted. I want to get the gift guide up on Wednesday. So I'm going to edit that. I also need to change because it's literally like 75 degrees out and it's November. It's crazy. It's so warm outside. So yeah, I'm going to change and put something else on that's a little bit more breathable to wear. And yeah, I'm going to continue editing and then I have to leave at 345. Just changed and the weather's so weird. It's like fall, but it's not cold out. Let's go get these nails done. Here's the before, and I'll show you guys after when I get back. Okay, you guys, so these are what my nails look like. I just got this dark kind of burgundy color for fall, and I am obsessed. I haven't had a dark color like this on my nails in a while, so I'm kind of getting used to it. But everyone always asks what I get done to my nails, and I always just get dip powder, like white powder. And then I'll get the gel polish on top. So yeah, these are what they look like. So I'm really happy about that. Guys, should I leave this in my car? I'm not like a huge fan of the way it looks in my car anymore i may move up um i feel like it's not really my vibe so anyway i have done that and i usually get my nails done every three weeks maybe once a month that's like pushing it getting my nails done is something that i don't need necessarily to do but it makes me feel good and i like to have some kind of polish on my nails but now i'm gonna go home because i have a lot of stuff to do and i'm also starting to get hungry so hopefully my mom starts making dinner soon <laughs> I was gonna study and do my homework in here and I wanted to show you guys my tree. I vlogged this last week in my productivity vlog, but I put up my Christmas tree, which was kind of early to do, but I'm honestly like obsessed with it. I'm waiting on an ornament for right here. I ordered one online. It's kind of expensive, but I'm excited. And I'm so sad too because I left this candle running. It's the Diptyque one. Like I left it running and now it's like halfway gone. So maybe I'll buy a new one, but yeah. Anyway, the whole room smells like Diptyque now though, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna do my homework out here actually. I'm gonna do my homework on this table. If you guys were wondering how I try and stay organized during the school year, I use Notion. It's online and it's free. You just have to create an account. This works well for me because I'm more of a digital person and it's just so easy to change things out. So I have some assignments here that I have to do. This also has been really nice for college too. I have all my college stuff all in like one place as well. And I also have a bunch more tabs here on the side of like Christmas lists and my spending 
and brand deals and stuff like that. So this really helps me stay on track with all the things that I need to watch out for. I have to watch this video for one of my classes. This is an assignment that I missed, so I'm gonna go on ahead and do this. So I found this in my skirt today. It's the Malin and Gotez Lip Moisturizer. I need to clean it, but I love this stuff. Okay, let's get to work. So for the last couple months, I've been really trying to stay on top of things and be productive since my productivity skills have not been the best over the last couple of years. So this year, I've been really trying to focus on that. Sooner or later, I'm going to be at college and no one is going to be able to help me. It's all going to be me, myself, and I when it comes to filming, editing, literally anything, social media, and also all my homework. First paper done, and now I'm gonna move on to my next paper, which is this one that I have to do. Sometimes I get assignments early, so I'll try and get them done. This one was for human trafficking, so I got it all done and out of the way so I didn't have to stress about it for the rest of the week. I have definitely learned a lot about staying organized, so if you guys wanna see a video all about my schoolwork and how I stay on top of things, let me know. Guys, so I just finished all of my homework assignments for now. I have some French stuff I have to do tonight, but it's more on like presenting. I have a presentation for my family tree assignment that I have that's due at the end of the week. And I literally have to talk all in French and I can't look off of anything. So I'm kind of scared about that. So a lot of memorization will be needed. So I'm going to work on that throughout the next few days. And I also want to get some editing done. But a lot of people ask me like how I stay motivated during the school year. And honestly, like now that I'm a senior, it's been really hard because college is coming like before I know it and I'm already getting accepted into schools. I'm filming a whole nother video about that. So stay tuned. But yeah, motivation and staying up to date with like all of your classes and your assignments can be really hard and difficult, especially when you're a senior and you know that like you've already applied to schools and like it doesn't matter. But technically it does still matter and you can get scholarship money and stuff for your grades. So that's always something to think about and consider. But I just like knowing that I try my best in everything that I do when it comes to schoolwork or my YouTube channel or social media or whatever I may be doing. So with school I always try my best I'm not perfect and no one's perfect especially last year my junior year I put so much pressure on myself because junior year as what everyone says is the hardest year I was kind of freaking out about so I was constantly studying constantly doing my assignments freaked out if I didn't like turn something in on time and I didn't like missing school or anything so yeah just Take a breath, everything will be all right, and if you're going to work your butt off one year of high school, junior year is the year that you have to. But seriously, like another thing, take accountability for your work and everything and get involved in stuff at school. Two biggest tips I have for if you're in high school, and I'm gonna make a whole nother video about college, my stats, my applications, the entire college process. Luckily, I have a college counselor that has helped me with a lot of it, but I wanted to make a whole video about it and like how it works and everything you need to know because it's so important so now that i've ranted i'm gonna get into the shower and today is a hair wash day so i am gonna be washing my hair wanted to show you guys some products i've been loving starting off sol de janeiro bum bum cream guys this is stuff you could ask for also for christmas this is the best lotion i've ever used on my body it lasts for so long I literally wake up the next morning and I can literally smell it still on my body. So good for after a shave. I also bought their deodorant. I don't know if I talked about this. I bought their aluminum free deodorant. I've been using it at nighttime. I've been trying to balance out like the aluminum and stuff in my deodorant because I know aluminum is bad for you. And then this Love by Killian perfume. Well, it's inspired by Love by Killian, but it's from Dossier. It smells so good. You guys were wondering if I had a TikTok. Yes, I do. I just uploaded my nail video transition. 
transition transition i want to get copyrighted but i have so much fun posting tiktoks and stuff like that and i made some for when i had the flu which is so funny where's the other one? Oh, it's right here but yeah i stay with posting life updates and stuff on my tiktoks so if you want to follow there it is. Also, so many of you guys have been purchasing stuff from my Poshmark account. I just want to show you guys. I have two packages here. And if you're wondering what it looked like to get a package for me, it comes in this blue wrap. And I have this thank you sticker. And then I also have one right here. And yeah, but yeah, I'm going to ship those out at the end of the week. I just dropped a bunch of fall clothes from Free People and Princess Polly. I also have some Drunk Elephant stuff on there listed. And also some shoes and just a bunch of stuff. So I've been trying to clean up my closet a little bit because I'm going to college next year and I don't want to have all these extra clothes that I have once loved but I just no longer love anymore like I used to or they just don't fit me right so yeah sometimes when I order stuff online the stuff doesn't fit me the way I want to so that means it gets sold on Poshmark Hey guys, so I'm in bed right now and I'm going to get some editing done But if you guys haven't watched my gift guide go watch it because I spent a lot of time editing that video and literally I just found so many things that you could ask for holiday season and the price ranges from $30 all the way up to 500 so there's a little bit of something in there for everybody so if you guys haven't watched the gift guide and you don't know what to ask for for Christmas highly would recommend to go watch and all the links are down below so so easy to find what you're looking for I am going to start filming a very exciting video that I have planned for 2023 and it's going to be my college decisions video and I submitted my applications like two weeks ago but I have already heard Heard back from two of the schools that I applied to my acceptance I have to wait until I hear back from all the schools to film the video because then I'll share like my decision and where I'm going and then I'll talk about like my stats and everything it's just gonna depend on where I get in and just kind of like let life happen and um I truly believe everything happens for a reason a lot of people have been also asking me what my top school is and honestly I don't want to say right now on camera because I want to keep it kind of a surprise for when I reveal. I think some people can kind of have a guess or assume where they think I want to go. But I applied to eight schools, I think. I was going to apply to Miami, but I decided not to last minute because realistically, I just don't think I would like love it as much as it looks online. But other than that, if you guys have any college questions or anything I should answer, leave them down below for me in the comments and I'll answer them. But other than that, that's pretty much my night. I'm literally just going to spend the next two hours editing and practicing my French presentation, which obviously I can't like film me saying like hell, like whatever. So I'm going to wrap up this video, but thank you guys for watching. This was just another day in the life of what goes on around here. And if you guys want to see more videos, subscribe. My socials are always linked down below in the description if you're ever curious. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and all that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of what I did today and that's typically what happened happens on a day in my life so yeah love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye